HeyEW.com. I'm Adam B. Berry here at the 2012 Sundance Film Festival. Uh, the first time I came to Sundance was in 2007, and what really struck me about the festival was how different it was from my expectations. I had always read about all these great independent films that were here, but I didn't know what it was like to actually be at Sundance. So here are five things you need to know to survive the Sundance Film Festival. The first thing you need to know is a tire. It gets cold here. We're up in ski country in Park City, Utah. So you need to dress appropriately. You need gloves, you need a good jacket, you need a scarf, uh, some sort of head covering, and uh, really good, strong boots that can uh, weather thick snow, uh, and of course, long underwear. I will not show you my long underwear. You're just gonna have to trust me that I'm wearing it. So, one thing about Park City is it's very hilly. In fact, Main Street is just one giant hill. So, between that and the altitude, you really gotta pace yourself and stay hydrated. Because if you're not careful, you could just be down for the count. Another thing about the Sundance Film Festival is, of course, where to find the stars. Some of the big celebs coming to this year's fest include Bruce Willis, Kirsten Dunst, and Chris Rock. And the best place to find them is kind of really all over, because they're in buses and vans going to and from their screenings and different events. So if you're just watching on in intersections like this at Main and Heber, you're, that's often your best bet to find a celeb. That also just happens to be the location of the Entertainment Weekly Photo Studio. But the best place to find a celeb really is at the screenings themselves. Because after the credits roll, the filmmaker and often the stars will stick around for a Q&A with the audience. So if you want to see a celebrity, go to the movies. So another important thing to know about Sundance is uh, how to get around. There's a huge bus system that is totally free and completely confusing. So we are here, and I want to get to the Mark Theater. So I got to get on the yellow, which then, to then I get on the gr green. I just transferred, or then maybe the purple. This is the green again. Or we could just ask the bus driver. The last thing you have to keep in mind about coming to the Sundance Film Festival is you've got to be willing to wait in line. Long lines, like here at the Mark Theater, and you should show up hours ahead of time to be able to secure your place in line. If you don't have a ticket, well, then you've got to go to the wait list. The lines for that can often be outside and not the best weather, and you should show up, you know, the morning off, really. But all of that waiting is totally worth it because by the time when you get into the theater, the movie starts and you get to see an exciting new piece of independent cinema that nobody else has seen.